Good morning, second graders. I hope that this week is a little bit less crazy than last week. We had tons of snow days. We had President's Day. It just made it an odd week. So this week, we are going to kick our addition and subtraction strategies into high gear because that is the only test that we need to really know in third quarter. So this is something that there's four ways that we're going to talk about. I want you to be comfortable with all four ways. You for sure are going to have a favorite, right? You're going to have a way. One of these ways is just going to make your heart beat faster. It's going to be easier for you. It's going to be faster. It's going to make more sense to you. And that's great. You want to have a strategy that you feel confident using and that you want to use. But it's also important that you feel comfortable and confident in more than one because it's really important that you are able to show your work in more than one way. So today we are just going to talk about base 10. And this is a strategy that we have talked about before. So down here... I have base 10 blocks. Now it's a bummer this year because in a normal year I could pass these out to everyone and we could have them in our hands and there's just something different about being able to hold tools. This is a tool. It helps me solve math problems. So since I can't hand these out to you, we're going to do our best with drawing. There's also an app, the Number Pieces app that you can download and use that way if that is helpful to you. So again, we are only gonna talk about the base 10 strategy today when solving, in this case, an addition problem. All right, so these are called sticks, and a stick is worth 10 all the time. So this stick is worth 10, this stick is worth 10, this stick is worth 10. We also talk about flat sometimes. Today we won't, but a flat is when 10 sticks are put together and it equals 100. This flat is worth 100. This flat is worth 100. All flats all day long equal 100. All right? And then the last one is a cube. And a cube just equals one. And if you put 10 cubes together, it equals one stick. That's why it's called base 10, because 10 cubes equal one stick. 10 sticks equal one flat. 10 flats equal a big thousands cube. Now I want you to spe whoa, pay special attention when you are drawing your sticks or cubes, or sometimes you might need to draw a flat. Now I notice that a flat is a square and a cube is a square. So when you're drawing your pictures, you need to make them really neat. Because if you make messy pictures, then that is not a useful strategy. And that is not a helpful strategy. So any time that you use one of these strategies, you need to show your very, very best work. So I'm going to do this in this box together to solve here, and then we're going to work on a few more together, and then your job for the day is to do three all by yourself and send me a picture. So here we go. I have the number sentence 23 plus 36. So in this box, I'm going to make my picture look just like my number sentence. I also want to use my paper to help me make it look neat. So my paper has blue lines, just like I think that your journal paper should have blue lines too. So my sticks are gonna all be the same size. They're gonna be in nice rows. They're not gonna be all over the place. Cause again, that doesn't help me out when I'm going to count it up. It makes it more confusing. So here's how it's gonna look. First, I have my 23. There are two groups of 10 in the tens place. So I'm going to draw two sticks. One, I went from the top of one line to the bottom of another line. I'm talking about the blue lines. Now my second stick is going to be the exact same size. And I'm going to put it right next to my other stick. That makes it nice and neat in my head. 
I don't have to go searching my paper for what I meant. Okay, now I have three. I don't want these three in my ones place to be big old squares because it's just a one little cube, okay? But again, I want all of them to be the same size. So I'm going to use my lines again. Lines are on paper to help us make our work neat. So I'm going to make three cubes that are right next to one another in the same size. All right, so now I have my 23 drawn. 23 here. I have shown that number 23 using base 10 blocks. All right, now I'm going to bring down that addition sign so that I know what I have on one side of my equation. And now I'm going to build what I have on my other side of the equation, so 36. So again, I have three groups of 10. That tells me that I need three sticks. I'm going to make all my sticks the same size, 10, 20, 30. Okay, now I need to do my cubes just like I did them here. I'm going to make them that same size. So I have six of them and I'm going to draw them in a line. I don't want a cube here, a cube here, a cube here, a cube here. That's too confusing. We want it to go right here to show 36. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now that I have drawn my base 10 blocks and it looks neat, then the last part of my problem is I need to add them all up. All right, so I'm going to add up all the base 10 blocks that I just drew. I always like to start with the bigger number first. So my sticks are worth more than my cubes. So first thing, I'm gonna count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, now I need to count on. I have 50, now I'm gonna count my ones. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. So my answer is 59. And I'm going to write that in. All right. So again, I have used the strategy of base 10 to show how I would solve 23 plus 36. Now we're going to do a few more together. So on your paper, I want you to do these with me. Okay, so we're going to do these two together, and then you're going to do these three by yourself and send me a picture. So again, there's four strategies that we're going to talk about this week, but today we are only talking about base 10. Because if we are solving a problem and it says show me two ways, I want one of your ways to be able to be base 10. Okay, all right, so first we have 13 plus 21. All right, 13 plus 21. So again, I'm gonna use my blue lines to make it really nice and neat. The first number that I'm gonna build with base 10 blocks is this 13. So I want you to think about how many sticks am I gonna need and how many cubes? Hmm. I'm also gonna build it underneath the number that it's showing, okay? So if this is 13, I'm gonna build it with base 10 blocks here. I'm not going to build it over here because that might be confusing because this says 21. All right, so here we go. This is what you're going to do on yours. So somewhere on your paper, hopefully at the top, you have written 13 plus 21. And underneath it, that's where you're going to show your work. So let's build it. I'm going to do one stick because I have a one in the tens place. I'm going to use those blue lines to make sure that my stick is nice and neat. It's not just an afterthought. I have really done my best to make that easy to read. Now I need to build my three that's in the ones place, or my three cubes. So here we go. One, two, three. Good. So this shows this. All right, now I'm going to add my plus sign. 
And now I'm going to build, using base 10 blocks, the number that's on the other side of the equation, which is 21. So I want you to think about how many sticks am I going to need for 21? Well, I have a 2 in the tens place, so that tells me that I need 2 sticks. And now I need my 1 cube. All right, so I have shown this number sentence in base 10 blocks. Now that I have that, I can go back and I can add up my base 10 blocks. Remember, I like to count with the biggest one first, so I'm going to count my sticks first. And I know that each stick is worth 10, so I can just count by tens. 10, 20, 30. Okay, so I'm going to hold 30 in my head, and now I'm going to count on by ones. Count with me. 31, 32, 33, 34. So now I can go back up and I can say 13 plus 21 equals 34. All right. We've got one more to do together, and then you're going to do these three by yourself and send me a picture. All right, so this number sentence says 46 plus 51, I'll add my equals, equals, and now we need to build this using base 10 blocks because that's the strategy that we're talking about today. So first I want to build 46. I see that there's a four in the tens place, so that tells me that I need four sticks. Again, I'm going to use my lines to make it look nice and neat because this strategy is only helpful if you have work that you can read. All right, so here we go. I'm going to switch my colors to orange. So I'm showing the four tens. 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. Now I'm on to my ones place. I have six in the ones place. So I'm gonna draw my six cubes. Remember they're small, so you don't want them to be big old squares because then you might think that they're a flat. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I have finished building my 46 and now it's time for me to build my other number in my equation. So I'm going to add my plus sign to show that this is one thing that I'm adding plus the other number. And now I need to build 51. All right, so this number 5 is in the tens place, so that tells me how many groups of 10 I have. So I have 5 groups of 10, so I need to do 5 sticks. So you're doing the same thing with me because if you're practicing, then it's training your brain and it will be easier for you if you do it too. All right, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I've showed my five, or my five groups of 10, 50, and now I have one cube. All right, now to figure out my answer, I need to add them all up. Remember, I'm going to count my tens first because it's going to be easier to count on with the little ones than count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then try to count by tens. Okay, so we're going to count our sticks first. Count with me 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. I'm going to hold 90 in my head and I'm going to count on 91, 92, 93. 94, 95, 96, 97. So 46 plus 51 equals 97. All right, so now on your paper, on a fresh new paper, I want you to flip over the page, and I want you to make your paper look similar to mine. So you're going to have three different equations. You only have to write one at a time so that you don't get pressured into making your page look a certain way. So I would start at the top of your page and write 25 plus 47, and then show me how you would solve that using base 10 blocks. 
When you're done with that, right under it, draw a line, and then write the next problem, 32 plus 19. And then use base 10 blocks to show me how you would solve 32 plus 19. Then when you're done with that, you're going to draw a line. And then last but not least, you will solve 41 plus 23. And show me how you would solve that using base 10 blocks. Okay, when you're done with that, and you think you've done your best work, right? We've talked a lot about how important it is to make your work look nice and neat. Not only for you, but for the person looking at your work. Because if you can't read it, I definitely can't read it. All right. So once you're done with this, I want you to take a picture of it and send it to me. And I want to see how you did. Now again, all week, we are going to be talking about four strategies. Today, we talked about base 10. And tomorrow, we will still talk about base 10, but we'll talk about how we can use it with subtraction. Okay, so today, we did addition. Tomorrow, we're going to use the same, same strategy for subtraction because it's important for us to know multiple ways to solve the same addition or subtraction problem. All right, remember to send me a picture of your work. Good luck.